What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Do here, welcoming you to the episode of Dang It Rubba V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we kind of got a lot revealed to us. So really, if you didn't watch the last episode, iCard, playlist, bunch of things, definitely need to see the last episode because holy frick, so much got dropped upon us. Um, it was like the outside world is right now. Literally, if you don't get that reference, go back. Anyway, who could be at our door? Who could be at our door, chat? I'm guessing it's either Kaido or Maki. That's 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 my guess, but my get my real guess is Maki. With my feet for the first time in a or on my feet for the first time in a long while, I walk uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and Maki. Okay, so I was right the first time. You look terrible, uh, um, Maki. Hey, go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall? Uh, um... I guess I should go. I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Everyone is in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaido. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. <sighs> Everyone here looks terrible. <sighs> really? Even I look terrible? <sighs> well, your face always looked like that. What are we talking about? <sighs> We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? <sighs> I want to go without suffering, Maki. Can you... Do you something about that? Okay. Sure. But before that, take a look at this. Oh. It's a flashback light. Um. Maki, why do you have that? I see. On top of the, or it was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there. Uh. Kokichi probably put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use the flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So if we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us, we don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Why do we have to do that? Because. It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. <sighs> well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. <sighs> so when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? That's uh, decided. That is decided. Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes, very well. Uh, okay. Yeah. And thus, it was decided fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because of our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Maki switched the flashback light. And at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. That's... that's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. What? It all started at the, that academy. A government-backed school 
that nurtured the most talented students in the various subjects, Hope Peak Academy, and the event that tore the school apart that changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, it triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world, humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence and the tragedy that ca was caused by a single high school girl. Junko and Ashima. The ultimate despair. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Peaks Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko and Ashima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples re the remnants of despair weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. But the war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from or it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell on the world carrying an unknown virus. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation! The Future Foundation is, was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Nayege... My, Nayege... Or Nayege. Wow, I can't even say his name right now. This is actually ridiculous. Together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project in Hope Speak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape Earth to become the seeds of the future. This is the only hope for humanity. With that... With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were students that applied after learning Hope Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was the like the last in that... It accepted applications from talented students and cultivated ultimate ta or, and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope Peaks Academy was a large school, so we were all separated in all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope Peak Academy. From the candidates, the the sixteen of us were selected for the Gopher Project. No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus with the, from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. The entire world went to the brink of its extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we happened to be immune to the virus. But the reason why we were that was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher uh, Project. I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's not me. It. Not me hyper focusing on Nekamaru. Not me at all doing that. No, no way, right? Nah, nah. That beach scene with Nekamaru and Mahiru definitely didn't focus on that picture. <laughs> Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. Yeah, I vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah. Why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope Peaks Academy. Mm. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma. The mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, 
He is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. It is so obvious. A killing game like this could only have been done by the Revenants of Despair. Last trial. Monokuma. And students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Which means that the killing game is just like the one that came before. A battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope in dark despair. Wait, Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why do Kokichi abandon it? Uh... That's also something the remnants of despair do. They admired Juko and Ashima, right? He made an elaborate plan, caused us to despair, and then got bored of that plan. Oh, Wanting to feel despair for your own plan being ruined. That's the ultimate despair for ya. Hey! What's wrong, Maki? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine though. It's not a big deal. Okay. Are you sure? What? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we got out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope for us. Everyone! No. We just need to become that hope. What's wrong? Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it is up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy, aren't we? After all, that's left, or we're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who's fought for the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. No matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes. That is what it is urging me to do. Give it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Uh, okay. Kibo. Listen close. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That is what I believe hope is. I see. That is what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope Speak Academy. Rebuilt as a symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope Peaks Academy, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live till the end and never give up. Mm. We won't be able to do anything if it, in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. You guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. yes, as long as we stand together without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of help. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Kokiji may have left that flashback light to make it or to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. If true, it does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey. So, what's our plan now? What are you going to do about Kokichi? That's right. We got to stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or the despair will never end. Okay. We have to do this. Or we have to save Kaido, too. You're right. Yeah, of course. You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at the time like this. That's right. With Kaido by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that. Even in a situation like this, He'd think of something. Uh, the problem is, is where are Kokichi and Kaido? Okay. They're in the Exocell hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaido would be trapped there, but okay. by chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during the nighttime yesterday. What? By chance, really? Right, right? I bet the truth is, or you were worried about, or I bet the truth is you were worried about Kaido and you were watching the hangar all day. It looks like that was the case. So what? 
It's not like I was worried about Kaido or anything. I just had nothing else to do. I also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop, it. stop. stop. We were getting all mushy, but then you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know they're Exosol, or we, we, we know they're the Exosol hanger, but how do we get them out? By the way, the hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm. Uh... And there's an electric barrier, right? You need to do something about that, yes. too. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm, too. Uh... Yeah, so many problems right from the start. What should we do? Okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? The hammers, probably. Uh, um, How do you plan on getting past the alarm system and barrier? Okay. With the electro hammer? That's what I figured. Okay. Well, if you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing with the electronic lock on the exit on the outside, or the outside world. But, but it won't work the same way with alarm, will it? The alarm will go off even if we get close enough with, to to use the electric hammer. That's true. Then we'll just use this. Oh. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is ex not exactly a bomb, though. Even it is, even if it's called an electro bomb, it jams electric signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic magnetic waves. Uh, for two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It is perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. The innovation is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So, I need to use them carefully. Uh, you guys will have to settle with electro, electro hammers. Why? Why do you have that, Maki? There were only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> huh. I stole one from his pocket. Okay. During that time. Yeah. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> The terrifying glare park was a joke, so uh, you can stop glaring at me terrifyingly. Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use the electric or electric web to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it'll disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the Exosols. One hundred percent. If we use the electro web in the front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi. Uh. Then Kokichi will be as good as butt naked. He'll be, or he'll be all, or all he'll be able to do is hold on to his crotch and run. No. He still might be able to control an exosol from inside. Oh, but naked. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. See. Then we should use the electro hammers as a precaution against the exosols. Uh. Dang, uh, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry, sorry, but. I did too. Mm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll need to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're gonna wait till tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Uh... Um, we don't have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember, Maki, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow when everyone's ready. That's true. Fine. That's, uh, fine. That's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... Punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end, and we have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. No, you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd ba feel bad after we kill him. Don't! It would be no different than the killing game that has caused so much suffering. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing... Uh, that's the sort of thing remnants of despair... Or Kira would do. Okay. But Kaido said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine. If everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But it seems like anything dangerous is going... Er, it, but if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'm definitely going to kill him. <gasps> wow, Maki is actually reliable. No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> If Maki Roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did you see those eyes? They were a, like pr a predator looking at its well. prey. You may have deserved that, though, Imiko. 
fair, but it's true. This is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together once again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaido. Because Kaido was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Of course. If I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again, but... What are you looking at? Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. We finalize our plan to get to the Exocil Hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we should wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused, and determined. We already get free time. No? All right. Yeah, okay, cool. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer, but I shouldn't stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. Free time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective! That was a wise call, Shuichi! But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, and the mastermind's identity! They were all solved. We don't need a detective anymore! This is the true ending. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can all do. Right. right, I should scout the area. It would be good a good idea if we check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaido. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Okay. All right, I'll go. I mean, we all know we always have to worry about Kaido, right? Like, that's just a thing that we're going to be doing constantly. Because Ka Kaido is, like, Kaido's the boy. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokiji's in the hangar, there's a good chance an ex Exosol is patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exocells protecting him? But why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? What if the Exocells are here? They aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw their attention. Isn't there five Exosols? The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too, so I can't get close to the shutter. I only saw four Exosols, so I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar. Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Awkwardly don't remember the bathroom at all. I remember going inside this. I should hurry but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. I should see what Kaido is doing. A window with a small bathroom. What? It's 
So what happens if I go in here? Nothing. Okay, I'm not allowed. Am I? If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. window with a small bathroom oh it's literally this oh my god oh there's a window the bathroom window i can see inside from there i picked up the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side what are you doing here kaito don't shout stupid kokichi will hear us uh is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. You? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I, I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah, of course. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Literally says no shouting, continues to shout. Okay. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course, it's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we'd better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. Kaido, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. After leaving Kaido with a smile, I return to my room. Hmm. 
There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the mindset, right mindset for battle. And while I was meditating on it, it became nighttime before I knew it. Uh, um. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaido has taught All me. Right. I have to do it. To live, to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart. Don't panic! Just stay calm and listen! Well, if, I, if you're watching this Monokuma theater segment, it's already too late! The kids not, or might not know, but to a 100% cod mass like, like me, hope is well! The thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. After the empty announcement from Monokuma, I took right. bed. All right, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed my electro, mag or electro hammer and ran out of my room. I, 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 how, I don't know how long I've played this game, and I still can't do it right. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. Yeah. We're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, and my electro hammer is all recharged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki! Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. Whoa! This is much better. Uh, a um... knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! Then we're off! Hey! Before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted the hangar yesterday. Huh? You scouted the hangar? Uh, okay. Y yes, and I discovered that Kaido is trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember correctly. And I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four exosols. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Huh? What? You saw that? Were you at the anger too, Kibo? Yes. Yeah. I thought maybe I could get a thorough or get through to Kokichi before we carried out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well. I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. Hey. How did it go? Yes, I thought. It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But But I did witness a few things. Huh? What? What did you witness? Well. We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that is relevant to our plan. For now. So she saw the four exosols that were guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green exosol. Oh, the important one. If I remember correctly. The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor electro barrier reacted to the exosol's presence. Could be. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exosols? That's right. Considering it's where exosols are being stored, it would appear it is a safe assumption. Mm -hmm. Anyway, these are two exosols, or there are two exosols in the hangar. We need to be careful. 
We have only one chance. Okay. This is the only Electro Bomb, so we cannot afford to You're miss. Right. That is exactly right. Hmm. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Come on, Kibo. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out to the dining hall, one after another. All right. Here I go. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. The Exosols, there's three of them guarding now, but no Monokuma. Huh. Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols... They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there's only three of them? There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's just as Kibo said. We should consider us lucky that there's only two. All five of them are here. It'd be impossible to execute the oh, plan. Right. Let's keep moving. If all five of them were there. Okay. Well then. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, then we should be able to disarm the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Hmm. If the electric bag our web has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours, Kokichi's remote control is disabled. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the Exosols. All right. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets to an Exosol. We. Uh, but be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into an exosol, we'll stop him with the hammer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Maki Roll? We're all ready to start, you know. That's true. Yeah. All right. Then let's go. Maki triggered the electro bomb and rolled it in front of the shutter. And then. One hundred percent. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the panel. Shuichi, Shuichi, will you do the honors? Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. No, not Samugi. All right. All right. If I get the control panel with this, as I swung up, I suddenly noticed, huh? huh? The control panel was covered in marks, as if it was damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to pull? Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Sorry, I got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my! The electric barrier turned off. Everyone, let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once. All right. We won't leave Kokichi, or we won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. <laughs> you better hurt, be ready, that's it. All right. The remnants of despair end here and now. And after opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. By getting fed despair! Yep! Uh, by getting fed to spare, it's exactly what I anticipated. Okay. I was ready. I mentally prepared myself for this event. <laughs> I got myself mentally prepared. Okay. What? A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going. The despair's not over yet. 
wait. I'm losing Maki too. Maki threw the bomb. Which shut off the electromagnets. I'm so losing Maki too. Because Kokichi would have put Kaido in the hangar and waited for this event to happen. Yep. I literally mentally prepared myself for Kaido's death. I was like, it's, it's happening. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I feel bad, but like my brain was, I was already in the mode. It was like, yeah, 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 Kaido's gone. Uh-oh. What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness, confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Oh, this music changed though. Yeah. Is that blood? The party discovery announcement? Does that mean that someone's in that press? What? Who? <laughs> the only person in the hangar was Kokichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. Huh? What? Either Kokichi or Kaido is dead? <gasps> Oh, look! Huh? Those clothes! They're... Kaidos. What did you say? Then, the one in the hydraulic press is... <sighs> no. It's not possible. Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial! <laughs> That's what the killing game is all about after all! And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file! Nice. Don't say it, you're getting bored of this, because things are just about to get interesting! I know you'll pour your heart and soul into this investigation too! Hold on, we have to investigate. So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue. <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, That's then right. that means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. Uh. What was that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that does that mean the one that's dead over there is? Uh. Kakaido? That's wrong. No, that's not possible. There has to be some sort of mistake. There's no way Kaido could die. It is all a lie. I made a run for the body when... Hey. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down. How could you say that, Maki? Kaido is... Well... I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait. It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Yeah. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Indeed. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone left unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away in this. No. Wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain that the dead body is Kaidos. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaido, then who's dead in there? Are you saying that it's Kokichi and that... Then why is the killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaido was alive, then why hasn't he shown himself yet? Mm. Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaido being the culprit is the more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible. I don't think Kaido could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually. And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the Exosouls at his will. How could Kaido have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just... I'm saying it's... I'm just saying it's possible. And... Ah, uh, and even if Kokichi, if it is Kokichi that was killed, doesn't that make 
Or doesn't that mean Kaido is the culprit? But how? So, does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! Right. No matter how shocking Kaido's death is, saying that we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaido is dead. But I can't just believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe that. I can't believe Kaido is dead. Um. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll be able to find hope or despair, but we'll be able to find the truth. And it all starts here. You're an impressive detective, though. Or through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something beyond it. That's right. I have to do this. I have to keep my promise to Kaido. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, we should investigate. Uh, yeah, but we already know the answer. But, but we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... But my main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we're to accuse him for being the culprit. Mm -hmm. If he just plays dumb and runs away, then there'll be nothing we can do. But... No. I don't think so. Juka and Ashima cherish the killing game rules. So the Revenants of Despair worshipped her. I don't think that they'd ignore those. Then? Then it'll be easy to deal with them. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I understand the others, but why, Maki? Why is she accepting Kaido's death so easily? Well then. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh Okay. Yeah. Death. Unknown. The body was discovered in the Exosol hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. The Monokuma File 5 has been added to the truthfulest section yeah. of the handbook. Yeah, that's it. That doesn't tell us anything. Uh. The identity of the victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaido is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. It is still too early to decide that. Hmm. It is true the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... But... Kaido told me. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaido made. And I want to believe in that. or And I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Uh, what? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaido. Back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back on me and left. Or turned her back to me and left. Maki. Not on me. To me. Um. There's something about this air in here that is making me feel off. I don't know if it's the electro bomb or if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. <sighs> but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then... It's gotta be the electric web. Kibo's an electronic appliance after all. <laughs> don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <sighs> really, I'm fine. But I suppose I'll go out and investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side for a bit. Hmm. I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No. no. You don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. My body, if the body is like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for all of us to investigate by others. Himiko left in a hurry. Could it be? I wonder if Himiko suspects. Huh? Suspects who? Um. Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people that could be the culprit, right? Of course, obviously, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there's another possibility. There could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaido, but a third party. 
anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up? Could it be? Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaido? Huh? To disrupt our harmony. Um... Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaido. He was the one keeping us together. But if that's why he killed Kaido, then we're completely caught in his trap. That's all part of Kokichi's plan, to separate us. That's exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. We don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But No point in standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve the mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. And that is... Oh. We're getting... That's new, uh, new investigation music. I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. And that is what we're going to do in the next episode of Danganronpa B3, Killing Harmony. I feel kind of bad for not reacting to the death much, but here's... I I'm kind of following the same mental fortitude as Shuichi of... I can't necessarily guarantee that it's Kaido. Um... Obviously, it could be. I also like that it says question mark on... Wait. On Kokichi and Kaido. Whether or not they're dead or not, that's funny. Um, the biggest piece of evidence that is in my head is that the safety precautions from the hydraulic press. Because the hydraulic press is supposed to stop when there's a human body. So, we disrupted that hydraulic press system... By using the bomb. That's the only thing. That's the biggest piece of evidence. So if somebody's going to be labeled as the killer. My immediate thought is Maki. Um, which I hate that proposition. Because like. That's not even her fault. She was killing. Or she didn't even try to kill. But yeah. Anyway. I love you all. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you guys in the next one.